Welcome to Simone Quilts Design Session number seven. Today's quilt top is brought to us by Kathleen. She has experience with free motion quilting on her domestic machine, so I'll be providing a good mixture of straight line quilting and free motion quilting ideas for this top. Even though we just finished celebrating 4th of July here in the United States, patriotic quilts are made year round. Patriotic quilts are made for charities like Quilts of Valor, where quilts are do donated to veterans. So American flag quilts are pretty common quilt tops regardless of the time of year. So I'll go ahead and jump in with the, the first phase that I normally go over, which is the observation phase. Um, this is a um, repeating block design of the American flag. Looks like we have some scrappy fabrics. Um, they're all prints uh, for the, the American flag blocks, but we have a, a solid sashing and border. Just looking at the prints again, we have little flags, we have stars, we have bows. Um, so just keep the fabric selection in mind when you're thinking about your designs, if there's any way to bring out these details in the quilting. The sashing and the border also seem to be a pretty nicely wide size, I'd guess three and a half to four inches, which means that there's a lot more room to play in those areas. For my thread suggestion, I think that an off-white color would blend the best for all of these. You wouldn't necessarily need to change colors, but you always could if you wanted to um, do like a dark, uh, excuse me, do a blue in the star area and the sashing and maybe a red in some of the stripes. So that's up to you. If you only want to use one thread, I would choose off-white. Okay, so I'm going to go over three different designs that I would use for this flag block. So the first one is a very traditional route or a very literal route um, is adding a string of star, a uh, string of star bursts here in this area. So I would do star here, bring it down, star here, bring it down like that. And then another one over here. Of course, um, when I do this design, I actually measure out, I create a grid, I mark out a grid, and then I place the stars along my grid like this so that they're evenly spaced apart. And then because I, I either mark it with like a hair marker or a washable marker, then it goes away and what you're left with is this, this this design. And then along with the star burst design, I would just do a simple vertical, excuse me, not vertical, <laughs> horizontal lines uh, for the rest of it, just to keep it nice and simple. So it looks something like, like that. And that I just got from the traditional, like it's a very literal meaning, stars and stripes for that design. The next design that I, I would go with are diagonal straight lines in the blue block that are about a quarter to half an inch apart, like this. Remember these are very simple designs because these are printed fabrics. And then I would do uh, ribbon candy in the red stripes. And then a nice contrast to that would be a geometric wishbone shape in the white areas. So, Something like this is a, it's a ge I just call it a geometric wishbone shape just because your typical wishbone is like this, but you're just making a very angular shape. So you would just do that in the white areas. This is a really thick marking tool, so you can't really see it all that well, but it would contrast really well with um, the wishbone shape, or excuse me, with the ribbon candy shape. So that's another design idea. 
And my third idea would be to add clamshells in the blue block like this, offset clamshells. And then I would do serpentine lines going in one direction in the red area like this. And then I would do a serpentine line going in the opposite direction for the white stripes. So it kind of gives it almost a feathered look. It, it actually gives it a very nice, elegant, flowy back and forth look that works really well with clamshells. So those are three ideas that you can use on the blocks themselves. You can do the same throughout the whole quilt or you could change it up depending on the fabric. Like for example, um, we have these starburst uh, prints here. You could use the starburst design on that. You could do the diagonal lines um, idea on this flag print here and then use the clamshells in another one of the design like the one with bows. You can change it up or you can make it all the same. It's really a personal preference there. I think that either way, just adding some texture to those blocks is what's going to stand out more than the actual design itself. And here um, I want to talk about the border and the sashing. So because it's solid fabric, that's normally where our quilting can shine. However, because the focus of the quilt top is the American flag block, I would recommend something that doesn't detract from those blocks. So something simple and something that would be the same throughout both the sashing and the border together, almost acting like a background fill. So you can tackle it that way instead. So my first suggestion would be to do swirls. I think swirls would be a really good choice. Um, swirls are easy to get into strange uh, corners or going around these corners over here. And it really fills a space very quickly when you do swirls, especially like a hooked swirl to get into some weird spots. And then um, my personal choice for a really traditional um, block, like the American flag block, would be stippling. So I think some medium stippling um, goes even faster than the swirls would. And it just gives it such great texture and it has like a really homey feel to it. At least it does for me. And I think that would pair really well with the American flag block. So I hope that you've enjoyed this really quick design session. This is a really beautiful top. I really love the prints and all of the different design choices that you can take with this. So um, if you would like to see some free motion quilting ideas for stippling, I do have a free motion quilting video for that, as well as um, some of the other designs that I mentioned. You can find that on my website at smokequilts.com or on my YouTube channel. If you have any other um, questions, um, send me a message or you can write something in the comments below. Thanks so much.